In this video, I'm going to discuss how to work with multiple sketches. So I have two different models I'm going to show you now. The first is a spinner profile. And when I drew this sketch, I actually went ahead and I kept the circles and the outer perimeter on a single sketch. So if I click on this sketch over here that says spinner base, you'll notice that the circles and the outer perimeter and everything are linked onto just one sketch. In the second model, I actually have them separate. So I have this outer perimeter as one sketch, and I have the circle holes as a separate sketch. So here's the outer perimeter, and here are the holes. Now if I go ahead and if I were to extrude this, because they're on separate sketches, I'm only going to be able to extrude one profile. So you notice that the spinner body here actually extrudes without cutting the holes through. So I have a solid object. I can see the holes, but they aren't in fact there as far as the three-dimensional model is concerned. If I go back to my first profile, the one that actually has the holes and the outer lines on the same sketch, if I extrude this one, because they're together on a single sketch, I am actually going to be able to extrude my spinner with the holes cut through. Now if I were to create a second model, in the same project. So say for example, I want to go ahead and create the caps for the bearings. I can actually click on my top plane and hit new sketch. Now the reason I didn't draw the caps with my spinners is because they're not the same thickness. They are actual separate models. So I'm going to name my sketch caps to keep myself organized. And I'm going to go ahead and draw the base circle for my caps. Now I can't draw the caps in one part like I did the spinners because they're kind of stacked on top of each other and this is what I mean. I'm going to extrude the bottom of my cap so I'm just going to make it say 0.0625 as a thickness here and then I actually want to go ahead and draw the center part of my cap on top of this three-dimensional model. I can do that by selecting the face so it's yellow and then right click and say new sketch. Now this sketch is actually located on the face of my extrusion, not on my work plane. So I'm raised above the work plane, the thickness of this cap here. So if I want to go ahead and draw my cap part two, I can actually grab the circle tool and it will snap to the center of my original cap, draw the center part of my cap, finish my sketch and then I'm going to go ahead and extrude that part and put the correct measurement and hit the checkbox. So now I have multiple extrusions and multiple sketches in one part. Now again I like to keep things organized so I can go ahead and rename extrusion 1 to spinner extrude or ext and then cap. Oops I didn't mean to do that in there cap extrusion, cap ext1, and cap ext2, just to keep myself organized. You'll also notice that on shape by default, notice there are two separate parts here. So if I click on part one, it's the spinner. And if I click on part two, it's the cap. This is useful. If I want to say make another cap, I can actually copy and then create a second cap for my spinner without having to draw it again. 